So now we will create a new report with a parameter. To create a new report, click on the bird project, select new and create a new report. Name this report as Param. Click finish. Double click the param.rpt design report. Now from the data explorer, create a new data source. Select any of the desired data source and let's call it as classic model. Click next and click finish. So now we, uh, we have a data source available. Let's create a new data set. Name this data set as param ds. Click next. So now here um, we have the list of available uh, data, data models and here we have the query text. So expand this classic models and for this example, we will take products as a table. From here, we will select the few of the column names such as product line, then product name, quantity in stock, buy price and MSRP and here in from we'll drag and drop this product now we'll write as order buy so here we will uh, order the entire table by the availability of the stock. Now click on finish button. So add the commas so that you can differentiate the columns now click on ok so now you have created the data set click on the report parameters and create a new parameter and give a name to as this parameter as product in prompt text write enter the product line here we will select the list box and select the dynamic and in the select value column select the product line select display text as the product line click ok so now you have the report parameter created we will edit the data set, go to the output column so we can see all the columns available in this data set, click on the parameters, uh, create a new parameter and link it with the report parameter that we had created called as product. Accept the changes and click OK. So now when you click on the preview results, you will see an error. So go to the query section again and add a clause where the so here what we will say is where the product line should be equals to question mark. Now click on the preview results 
click OK. So now we have added this report parameter to our data set. So let's drag and drop this data set to the uh, report designer. Select all. Click OK. So you will see that uh, by default it will create a new table. Now let's run this report in a web browser. Now enter the parameter trains and click OK. And you will see the data with the trains as a product line will get this appeared in this report. So this way you can create a parameter report in BERT.